Hey, you guys. Well, now the scene is starting to clear a little bit more. We have forensic units out here and earlier on along Channing Avenue, we had teams just surrounding what appears to be a trailer behind us. I'm going to step out of the way so you could see and our cameraman can push in backwards that the trailer behind us is where detectives were looking for that suspect in supposedly a suspect of interest in a robbery. Now this just came into our newsroom. We heard from Chesapeake Police. They said that fugitive was someone that detectives called 42 year old Daryl Myrick and he is a person of interest. He has no charges right now for that said robbery, but he also faces other charges in several other areas. Now those numerous charges are from Chesapeake detectives, Portsmouth and Charlottesville on top of the city here or excuse me on top of Chesapeake Police Department's charges and those include charges ranging from grand larceny and several narcotics violations. Portsmouth police officers say this started just before six this morning. Isle of Wight County Sheriff's Office deputies were looking for a fugitive on the run. Deputies say the suspect was involved in last week's Old Point National Bank robbery. A suspect Portsmouth police officers say Chesapeake police traced to Channing Avenue. Our main priority is the safety and security of our residents here. So. Portsmouth police called in the SWAT team, narcotics unit and canine unit and blocked off the street for hours. Neighbors had mixed feelings about the site. Um, that actually makes me comfortable knowing that nobody's getting in or out, so it's a good thing. I mean, it's definitely a concern. Portsmouth police officers say nearby James Hurst and Craddock Middle School were put on a modified lockdown to protect students. School officials say that didn't happen. Parents of students had this response, though. It's, it's crazy. They can't even be children. Mm -mm. It's a scene crossing city lines, leaving neighbors on edge. And earlier we saw police pulling out two people from that trailer. One was Daryl Myrick and another person. We're still working to figure out who that other person was. And as of right now, we do know that he is in the Chesapeake police custody right now. Myrick is in their custody. We'll keep you updated with any other updates on this investigation. Reporting live in, Chesa in Portsmouth, I'm Megan Shen, 13 News Now.